Hey, it's Rick with LearnDigitalAdvertising.com. Uh, like us, subscribe, daily tip today. We are going to fix a couple of issues with MailChimp when you integrate MailChimp with your website for e-commerce purposes. And the issue that comes up in Google Analytics 100% of the time is that, Google, that MailChimp essentially is going to start passing uh, in those click URLs from your emails two pr new parameters. One is called MC underscore EID and the other is MC underscore CID. And these two parameters, the EID version, tracks each individual user. So once that integration is made, MailChimp wants to track each user so that they make a purchase. It can capture that information and that helps with your product recommendations and everything. Um, and then the MC underscore CID is actually a parameter that's used to track the actual campaign and attribute a specific campaign to a sale. Um, so that's all really nice stuff for MailChimp and it helps accomplish what they want to. What it does though is it messes up your Google Analytics report. So let's look at what that looks like quickly. Um, this is a client that we have uh, that has this issue. Uh, we're going to go to site content and landing pages is a good place to start. Now typically a landing page report is just going to show each landing page. But what you're going to start to notice in this data is these MC underscore CIDs, uh, you know, throughout. And I'm just going to do a quick filter. We'll just do MC underscore here to kind of really show you how many of these there are. Now you can see a bunch of them. And if you know how to look at a landing page report, what you're going to notice with each of these is that this, this uh, is just a home page. It's the home page over and over. The problem is Google Analytics thinks that each of these, because there's a unique CID and EID combo, right? Because MailChimp is passing that for each individual user. Uh, it looks like a bunch of different landing pages. The obvious problem is how do we analyze, you know, how well this landing page converts, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and additionally, if you have a huge email list, you, instead of having, in this case, we have, you know, about 20 or so pages that we're looking at over the past week. But this could be 100,000 pages, depending on the volume of traffic you're sending. So what we need to do is tell Google Analytics to ignore the MC underscore CID and MC underscore EID. So quickly, uh, what this looks like in real time, I just want to show quickly. Um, I'm going to go to the site, and I'm going to force it to fire. Um, I'm going to force it to fire an MCCID real quick. I'm just going to load that quickly. And you can't see it right now on screen, but I did plug in an MCEID with like a test URL. And what you're going to notice then in Google Analytics in real time, let that load for a second, is that our active page is the home page with our little test URL, right? So let's go fix that quickly. It's a very quick fix. Now, let's keep in mind, the fix that we're going to do only affects future data. So the fact that you have this all screwed up in the past, too late, sorry. Uh, we're just going to fix it for the future. Um, I'm going to plug in down here, exclude URL query parameters. Let me just back up a second. I already had the Facebook click ID. You can get a link to how to fix that for Facebook because the same issue happens as soon as you implement the Facebook tracking pixel. Um, it's the same kind of thing. Um, but for MailChimp, we're just going to add the MC underscore EID and MC underscore CID. And this can be a comma separated list. So you may have others of these. And I'm just going to hit the save button. And that's actually it. We just fixed the problem. So let me prove that we just fixed the problem. We're going to shoot back to real time. Let me go to content again. And now this time I'm going to refresh the home page again with my test parameter there. And this time you're going to see the active page does not include the MC underscore CID or EID. So basically what's happening now is Google's just saying, OK, I'm going to ignore anything with the, any values related to these parameters, and I'm just going to report on the page uh, to which that belongs. So that's pretty much all there is to fix it. Uh, again, that affects your future data, but that should solve the problem. And again, this usually applies to MailChimp integrations with, with you know, WooCommerce, Shopify, other e-commerce type things. But I uh, hope it helps questions below. Happy to answer. Uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff on YouTube. We've got these tips all the time. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.